What's up everybody, KG here, coming at you with a quick video. Working on Pulse X today, I'm gonna show you how to add or remove liquidity or establish a brand new liquidity pool if one has not been established yet. This is real easy, real quick, nothing to be overwhelmed by. Let's jump right into it. So here we are on the Pulse X DEX or decentralized exchange. And I will drop the address for this site in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do is identify what pair you're going to provide liquidity for. And in order to provide liquidity, you need both sides of the pair. And I'll show you what I mean. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I will show you how to add liquidity on an existing pair. And I'm also going to create a pair so that you can see what both processes look like. What PulseX does, which is very cool, is if you go to the three dots here in the top left, go down to info, you can actually check the pools and see if the pair that you want to provide liquidity for already exists. So we're going to be working with internet money in this video. And if I scroll down just a little bit, you can see all the liquidity pairs that exist for, for IM. So I'll go ahead and add liquidity to the IM pulse pair. So we'll go back to trade, liquidity, add liquidity, and I'm going to add pulse and internet money. We do need to connect our wallet. And it may ask you to confirm my wallet has been connected to the site before, so it did not pop up and ask me to confirm, but it may for you. So now that the, or because the liquidity pool has already been established, we can't set the rate. What do I mean by that? So let's say I put one pulse. It's gonna automatically populate how many IM I need on the other side in order to provide liquidity for this pair. So let's say I have, I have about 10,000 pulse here. Let's say I want to do 2,000 pulse. That means I need 9,424,680 IM, which I have. It'll show you your share of the pool. It'll show you how many IM per pulse and pulse per IM. I'll click supply. One more thing to note before I do that, if this is your first time interacting with a token, it's going to ask you to enable it here. And you'll have to enable it and you'll have to sign or confirm it when it pops up here from your MetaMask pop-up. But since I've already enabled it, I, you don't see that on my screen. Click supply. It's going to show me how many LP tokens I'm going to get. And I'll dive a little more into that here in a moment. It's going to show me how much pulse and how much IM will be removed from my wallet. It'll show me the rates and it'll show me my share of the pool. Confirm supply. You do have to confirm it. You have to sign for it. There is gas associated with this. Confirm. So now you're going to see this button here. Add PLP to MetaMask. Let's go ahead and click that. Add token. So I'll switch over to MetaMask. And you'll see that 
I now have these PLP tokens. And what the PLP tokens are, are the tokens you get in exchange for providing your liquidity. It represents your position of the liquidity pool. So when you ask the question, well, how do I get my tokens back? How do I know how much rewards I've earned? When you say, I'm done providing liquidity, I want my tokens back. I'll show you how to remove liquidity and walk you through this. But you're going, you'll ultimately end up burning the LP tokens and whatever ratio of, in this case, I am and pulse you put in, you'll get it back. Now, you're not going to get the same amount of IM or the same amount of pulse. You will get your ratio accordingly to how the market has moved, to how transactions have occurred. And that goes into a much longer conversation of impermanent loss, which we won't get into in this video. So now let's go back. So now we've added liquidity. Now let's remove liquidity. So once you're on the liquidity page and your wallet is connected, you will see the liquidity pools that you're a part of. So we just saw that we created this one. So if we click it, we can click remove and you can either put a percentage of your liquidity which is a really cool feature that PulseX provides. Or you can click detailed and put an exact amount of tokens. But for the purpose of this video, so you can do 1000 based upon how many tokens you have. But we'll just do simple for now. And I'll just do max. And I have to enable it because I have not interacted with this token yet. Sign for it. It's been enabled. Now I can remove. And it's going to show me how much I am I will get, how much pulse I will get. And you can see the... LP token is going to be burned. Confirm. Again, you have to sign it. Confirm. There's gas associated with this. Every move you make on the blockchain, there's gas associated. Let's close. Transactions complete. Now, if we go back to MetaMask, you will see that I have zero of the PLP tokens, but I have my Pulse and my IM back in my wallet. Okay, so now we've added liquidity. We've removed liquidity. Now let's create a liquidity pool. So you can go to the three dots, go back to info. And again, we can, for this one, we're going to use CIMD. And again, you can look at the pools that are created. If you want to see what pools exist, you can compare them to your tokens, or you can add to an existing pool. That's your choice. So we'll go back to trade, liquidity. And we're going to add liquidity here. Now, the token we're going to use for this is we're going to use USDL, a stable coin on Pulse Chain, and we're going to use CIMD. Now look, we didn't see this the first time. You are the first liquidity provider. The ratio of tokens you add will set the price of this pool. Once you are happy with the rate, click Supply to Review. What does that mean? Effectively, when you establish the rate of this pool, you establish the price of this pool. So remember how when we were adding liquidity, when I put one, it automatically populated the other side. Well, that's not the case here. You have to tell it 
what one USDL is worth in terms of CIMD. So I could do one to one. I could do one USDL equals 100,000 CIMD. But let's say I want to beef up the price of CIMD in this pool. I can do 100 USDL equals 1 CIMD. Let's do that. Sounds cool to me. So I need to enable USDL. Confirm. It's enabling. And it shows you again, CIMD per USDL, 0 0.01 or 100 USDL equals one CIMD. I own 100% of this pool. Now keep in mind, most projects, when they launch, they will choose the primary pair or pairs that they want to, they want their token to be paired with. And they will set the initial ratio so that they can control the initial price so that nobody else can come in and dictate the terms of their desired pair. Click supply. We're going to create the pool. Let me say one, one more thing. So if I want to keep the ratio of 100 USDL to 1 CIMD, I can still do that. I could do 1,000 USDL and 10 CIMD, and you will see the ratio is the same. So we'll go ahead and do it this way. Supply, create pool and supply. Confirm. And now we wait just a minute. It's done. You gotta love that pulse chain processing time. Beautiful. So now, it should populate here. Don't see a pool you've joined. Okay, so let's try that. The pool wasn't populating, so I click don't see a pool you joined. Boom, boom. Pool found. Cool. And there are the tokens that I have. Manage this pool. There it is. Okay. It populated. Beautiful. Okay. So you can see your liquidity pairs here. Now check this out. Let's say I want to add liquidity to the USDL CIMD pair. Watch this. The ratio is now set. So in this video, we learned how to on PulseX, add liquidity, remove liquidity, create our, a liquidity pair that doesn't exist yet. And you even learned some cool things about liquidity ratios. Now I know this stuff can be overwhelming, but it really is approachable and easy when you break it down and take it step by step. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. The best way to get a hold of me is you can go to twitter.com forward slash brother KDG and all of my socials are in my bio. Until next time, peace.